SpongeBob's had such a long journey through TV and has become one of the most iconic cartoon characters out there. He's basically like the modern day Mickey Mouse in a sense. So it's no surprise other companies besides Nickelodeon would want their share of recognition for their products. So today we dive into not only the most nostalgic SpongeBob commercials, but some old Nickelodeon promos, bumpers, food products, you name it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into this nostalgia blast. But before we begin, be sure to click that like and subscribe button so I know you like my content. Without further interruptions, let's begin. Now this list isn't going to be in any particular order on when they came out or anything, it's just us having a good time looking at some of the most nostalgic Spongebob content. And to start us off, let's take a look at Spongebob Serial. It came out in 2004, and this is when the first Spongebob movie was released. So it's no wonder they paired up with Kellogg and made this amazing breakfast cereal. It had little Spongebob, Patrick, and pineapple marshmallows in it. I mean, what more could you ask for? Just looking at the box art is already nostalgic enough. At the end of the commercial, it shows us even more Spongebob featured food products like the Spongebob Cheez-Its, Eggo Waffles, and Pop-Tarts, all which I remember buying back then. Pretty much any food product you put Spongebob on, it's pretty much a guarantee it'll sell. At least for me it was. Next up, let's talk about the iconic Nickelodeon bumper short that aired all the way back in 1999, featuring Spongebob blowing up a bubble. Not just any bubble though, the iconic Nickelodeon orange bubble. This was a small short that I end up watching quite often. We don't get original shorts like this anymore, and it's something I really wish we'd see more of. The next one I want to talk about is the Nickelodeon bumper Astrology with Squidward. Now I'm well aware this doesn't feature Spongebob himself, but I still think it's pretty cool. This short stars Squidward as he gives horoscopes of the zodiac signs. I really like how this is originally animated, and if out of all the Spongebob characters, Squidward is definitely the right character for this job. He says it all and leaves no stone unturned. These aired from 2000 to 2001, and then they just didn't appear again until they started reappearing on YouTube. Obviously not as good in terms of quality, but then a couple years ago, the Nick YouTube channel brought them back in its original quality. I think that's pretty cool that Nick is acknowledging how much people really miss these classic shorts, and decide to bring them back straight from the original vault. Now let's talk about Target. This Spongebob Target crossover came out in 2001, and it definitely makes you feel so nostalgic when you see the classic look of Spongebob especially as he's ripping his pants. Really makes me want to watch ripped pants after this video, but that's besides the point. Looking at the bottom text, you can see the text AOL keyboard target. Ah, the old days. So much better, am I right? This is one of those old commercials that make you really appreciate the old style of Spongebob a lot more, since he's obviously a lot more brighter and his shade of yellow is a lot more popping out at you. But either way, this was a time when things were a lot more simpler. Just picture yourself watching on your couch, and you see your TV set, seeing Spongebob flipping Krabby Patties, then proceeding to chase after Target's mascot dog Bullseye. It's all just really great. It's definitely one of my favorite old commercials, not only because of the style, but because of many things that happen in it. So if you haven't seen this, I highly recommend you do after this video. Diving into the board game commercials, let's take a look at Operation Spongebob, a commercial that came out back in 2009. I used to play this all the time, and it may not use pretty much any original animation, but in fact it just uses clips from the show, but it's still a pretty good commercial. I remember seeing this all the time back then, and it actually made me go out and buy the game, and I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun with this. Monopoly is also another popular game that it's no surprise they put Spongebob on it. This commercial came out in 2006, and shows these kids having a fun time playing the game. The board features most if not all the main cast, so that no matter which side of the board you're looking at, you can see one of your favorite Spongebob characters. Hey, that's pretty cool. Whoa, a Spongebob TV, how fun! This commercial aired back in 2005, promoting the all Spongebob design box television by Emerson, and that's not all. We get to see kids jamming out to what looks like a Spongebob boombox, and then a Spongebob DVD player, a Spongebob remote, and I think that's a Spongebob camera. Literally Spongebob everything, hooray! And it's even showcasing us the original Spongebob logo. How amazing! Back to Nickelodeon, we look at 2000 through 2001 Spongebob's Nicktoon Summer Splash. This is one that featured various Spongebob characters promoting Spongebob, as well as other Nicktoons that aired around this time. Everything was originally animated and it really gives you that very early 2000s vibe. I really like the TV filming setting and seeing Spongebob taking calls from Plankton trying to get the secret formula was a really nice touch. 
I really wish we got to see more stuff like this. But since things are going all streaming and everything online is the main focus now, they're not nearly going to try as hard because they don't need to put everyone on the Nickelodeon network anymore because, you know, with Paramount Plus now being a thing, that's all you really need, right? For fast food, nothing brightens up a day faster than Spongebob plastic toys in your kid's meal. Well, at least that's what you'd think back in 2009. Burger King made an interesting decision to feature a commercial with a parody of Baby Got Back, but with the actors having to show off their square pants. Yeah, that's pretty weird. At least to get that image out of our minds, we can take a look at the much better Burger King's collaboration back in 2004 to promote the Spongebob movie. They also had some pretty cool Spongebob watches and plastic toys, of course since you know they always do that for their kids meal, but that's not all. There was also a giant inflatable Spongebob, like really giant, that stood on top of Burger King restaurants to attract potential customers. However, this came with a huge consequence, and that was the kidnapping of Spongebob. Yes, you heard me right. People would sneak on top of Burger King's roof, deflate the giant Spongebob, and take him to God knows where. It was something that kept happening again and again, and even led to Burger King offering rewards to anyone who could help solve the case of the missing Spongebob. Eventually, they were able to recover them and bring them back to where they belong, even if it's not the Bikini Bottom. Overall, while it was really cool to see a giant Spongebob on top of Burger King, it definitely had its risks. There were also some other promotions of Spongebob and McDonald's, and occasionally Wendy's, but nothing jogs my memory more than the collaboration with Burger King. All this food talk is making me really hungry, and this next commercial of Spongebob mac and cheese isn't helping. The combination of Spongebob and Kraft came out in 2006, and I remember seeing this on my TV screen, and in fact, we later went to the store to pick up a box later that day. Yeah, I'm not joking. This commercial showcases us Spongebob ready to jump into a pool with Squidward and Patrick. A cool orange dinosaur, a treasure chest full of Spongebob mac and cheese. Alright, you sold me, where can I buy a box? Alright, they're discontinued. No! There was also one that came out earlier in 2002 that's pretty much identical to the 2006 one. The only noticeable difference being that the 2006 one is promoting the Yellow Avengers Spongebob game that released on the DS back in 2005. Speaking of gaming, let's talk about the commercial for the original Battle for Bikini Bottom Spongebob game that released back in 2003 that was soon available for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Microsoft Windows, and Xbox. I used to play this game all the time, and I thought it was pretty cool for them to completely remaster the game and re-release it with a new modern look that came out in 2020 for the modern consoles. But to me, nothing can compete with the memories I have playing the game on my PS2. Returning to food, there was yet another 2004 commercial promoting Spongebob fruit snacks. You can't ever go wrong with those. The commercial plays out exactly like the Season 1 episode Hooky, using some of the audio as Gummy Spongebob warns Patrick about the dangers of hooks. Okay, this is really cool. Like seriously, I miss commercials like this, especially on food. And speaking of gummies, we can't get away with not mentioning the gummy Krabby Patties. This is my all-time favorite childhood gummy treat, and it's been around for a pretty long time. Each season that comes along, they change out the packaging to show off whatever holiday or special it is at that time. So it's lucky you have to grab a whole bunch of these sweet treats in every holiday format. I'll always enjoy eating these, no matter how old I get. You want to know what else is shiny? And no, it's not ice cream. Well, I'm glad you asked, and that is the promotion of SpongeBob SquarePants coming to VHS and DVD. This is one of the most nostalgic commercials I've seen in a long time. I mean, it's even promoting it to VHS, so that's something. And according to my research online, this is the first Spongebob DVD and VHS release. Wow, has it really been that long? The DVD features 10 seaworthy stories, while the VHS version only has 5, with episodes from Season 1 and Season 2. So what are you waiting for? Pick up your copy today, and hey, as they say, you get to explore the bikini bottom without putting on a wetsuit. More soon followed in 2002 through 2004, with more commercials showing us more of Spongebob's home video releases. I always love watching these right before it gets to the main menu in a DVD. Something about them just brings me so much nostalgia. The Spongebob Airheads commercial is another gem that I love watching, and it even came out even before the Spongebob movie did in 2004. The commercial goes on saying how each six pack of Airheads will even contain a seaworthy tattoo, so you'll want to miss your chance to snag that. Well, I hope you guys got yours because I didn't. F in chat for respect, please. Does anyone remember seeing the original Spongebob Popsicle when it came in the classic green wrapper with the original Spongebob logo? Because I do and I miss it every day. 
Now today it comes in a bright yellow packaging, but this time showing us what the popsicle actually looks like. Sure it's not a 1 to 1 scale of Spongebob, but I mean hey, it's good as it's gonna get. Now this popsicle is in many ice cream trucks now, and if this were to be discontinued, I don't know what I'd do with myself. It's just too good. So good that they even released Spongebob popsicle figures, each one showing us a number of different Spongebob popsicle looks you can actually find when you open the real popsicle bar. I really like how it's pretty much a game to try and find the perfect Spongebob popsicle. Doing this is always so satisfying. Getting to around the Christmas season, there was of course attention surrounding Spongebob to help sell merchandise all with the Jingle Bells music theme. These products show us a Spongebob shower sing-along, Spongebob table, Spongebob bounce house, all with the classic Nick.com logo. I'm seriously considering going online and buying these again, no matter how much these cost because you can't put a price on nostalgia. Coming to the end of our nostalgia blast, let's take a look at the final commercial, and that is the first promo of Spongebob Squarepants, showing us what we can expect from the most revolutionary cartoon of all time. The promo shows Spongebob letting us know he's ready for us to join him in his underwater world. It's crazy to think how he came to our screen two decades ago, and it's a cartoon that will forever be a part of cartoon history, all thanks to Steven Hillenburg, Tom Kenny, and the rest of the crew. Alright viewers, that's the end of our Nostalgia Blast. I really wish I could go over everything, but that would obviously take way too long. And honestly, we could even have a part 2, to a part 3, to a part 4, and so on. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. With all that said, I look forward to seeing you with our next list.